Good evening, family. Well, good, good early evening. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Family, family, today is Sunday. Happy Sunday, everyone. Happy Sunday. And today we will be engaging in Fellowship Social Mixers. So for all those who are tuned in under the sound of my voice, welcome. For those who are new to the channel, I am Infinite Child. Amen. So guys, feel free to catch it on the rerun. Feel free to share the content. Feel free to subscribe and much gratitude to all my subscribers. Amen. We are in this together. Solidarity in Christ. Amen. And again, I have to give us the, the disclaimer. I'm going to try not to be long. Amen. Um, just going to flow. Right. I'm just going to flow and let the, the, the Holy Spirit take over. Right. This word that we all have to hear in the mighty name of Jesus. God is calling us. God wants to do a new thing in our lives. God wants to uh wants to do what, you know, thank you, Holy Spirit. We are not of the world's carnality. We are not of the world's wisdom, okay? It is the wisdom of God, the Holy Spirit, who teaches us all things. Glory be to God. And God uses the foolish to confound the wise, which means the wisdom of this world. Glory be to God. So people, hear the word, family, hear the word. Hear the word. And, um... We all, we all have to come to our senses. We all have to come to a greater understanding that the Lord wants us and called us to be his own, his own people. And now a lot of people, they, they, re, they are refused. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, let's, uh, let's put some word on it. Chapter Isaiah uh, Isaiah chapter 59. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save, nor his ear heavy that he cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated you from your God. And your sins have have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear. For your hands are defiled with blood and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongue have murdered have muttered perversity no one calls for justice nor does any plead for truth they trust in empty words and speak lies they conceive evil and bring forth iniquity they hatch vipers eggs and weave the spider's web he who eats of their egg dies and from that which is crushed a viper breaks out their webs will not become garments, nor will they cover themselves with their works. Their works are works of iniquity, and the act of violence is in their hands. So, we must come to a greater understanding that we are called by God. He chose us. We did not choose him. And there is this, 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 this great separation, right? And knowing that all things work together according to his will in each and every one of our lives, right? So, your faith and confidence in the Lord shall not fail. It let it may not fail. Amen. In the in, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, the word that I gave yesterday you know, about, about uh, meeting people where they are respecting others. And the Lord, uh, the Holy Spirit gave me another revelation. And that revelation was clearly, I, you know, I couldn't put that word out, you know, um, uh, included, include the word, uh, that, that revelation with the message, the, the video message that I had gave yesterday. But today, here it is, the revelation, the revelation. Negative seed is conceived, it brings forth sin. When negative seeds are conceived, it brings forth sin, iniquities, right? Iniquities, separation, you know, the, 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 the further we fall into sin and in the in, in deep we get into sin, you know, it get, everything is just it's confusion. You are in complete darkness, right? And and it weighs heavy on you. It weighs so heavy on you 
You don't know where it's coming from, left, right, front, back. You don't know where it's coming from. It weighs so heavy on you. Yet positive seeds, glory be to God, positive seeds are conceived. The positive seeds that are conceived, the positive seeds that are conceived in your life, in my life, brings forth fruit. Brings forth fruit. And we know that God is the vine, uh, God is the vine dresser, right? God is the vine dresser. Jesus is the vine. The vine dresser, the vine, we are the branches. We're connected. There's power, connection, and purpose in Christ. The vine dresser, the vine, branches, right? There's God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, right? God brings his son, gave his son, now, as uh, as uh, heirs, heirs, as heirs of the cross, we are the branches. We are connected because we are in Christ, and Christ is in us. Right? All things are. All things are. We are fit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are fit to be com com compatible with the Lord Jesus Christ. When we are unfit, when we are living how we want to live, when we are in sin, we are unfit for for the kingdom of God, right? So now, family, listen to listen to the word. Hear what the Lord is saying. So now, being that we are compatible because of the cross, we are able to yield fruit. We are able to uh, live in godliness and and in righteousness. We are able to uh because constantly and consuming our minds with the word of God and living out his will that he has for each and every one of our lives individually. Yet we are the 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 body of Christ. Yet there are different members, many members of the body of Christ collectively, 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 it's the same spirit and in the same spirit, which is in Christ. Amen. So we could be separated from God. And how many of us, we know we are sinners. We are sinners saved by grace through faith, right? Our faith. So let's put some more word on it. So Psalms, uh, Psalms chapter 119, verse 130 says, The entrance of thy words give, giveth light. It giveth understanding unto the simple. So the Holy Spirit, God, you know, it, and there's many, uh, many different references, uh, whichever Bible um, that you choose, the NKJV, uh, the KJV, uh, Amplified, uh, and, you know, uh, many versions out there. And which, which the word of God is the word of God. And th the true gospel is only Jesus Christ, right? So how it it is so so simple, so simple and for us to understand. For us to understand. And you know, it's the transformative, it, it transforms the power of God's word. Faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. And the word is is medicine to our flesh, right? And the, it, 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 it separates, the word separates uh, the, the, the doctrine of man, you know, because man likes to create any and everything, right, that's fitting and, and foolish wisdom for himself, herself, right? Man, when I, when I speak of man, it, 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 it's not a, a gender, it's not based on gender, it, even though, come on, family, there's man, there's woman, there's no in between, all right? So the, the, with human beings, um, you know, we, the people like to put so much in, in the foolish wisdom of themselves into a thing or creating uh, things, you know, and, and, and it, it's, you can't, you can't grasp anything from it. 
you 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 can't hold on there's no substance to it but you know uh some may think that that it is and and that's the truth or in or that is correct in or that is you know right or that is you know uh um I'm the person, you know, you know, being big headed about things, you know, the ego could really, you know, take over or, you know, or just think that, you know, it's, it's me. It's not anything else. I am this, I am that, right. And just ignoring, just completely ignoring the bite of Christ, just completely ignoring the, the, God's will for their life, just completely ignoring Jesus, you know, not accepting Jesus, not acknowledging him, uh, just completely ignoring that God. God is God, God, the creator of heaven and earth, right? So, uh, you know, it, it it reveals, it's transformative, you know, it reveals the, the power that's in the word of God, the power that God is, and it emphasizes uh, the, uh, the light that's, that's given because we are light. Now that we are fit for the kingdom of God, now that we are fit for the purposes of God, God in our lives and in the purposes of Jesus Christ in our lives. And though we go through Jesus to be able to have any type of, to be able to have, to have any type of, um, of communication with the Lord, to even be, to even to be able to pray to our Heavenly Father because of Christ, all things are done in and through Christ Jesus himself. And so now we are fit to 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 be of righteousness to be of godliness to 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 bear fruit to be able to uh you know imitate and be in likeness and image of god which we are all created all created to be or have been have been created had been created you know all these things you know it, it was all prepared before the foundation of the earth all things it was so and all things you know when God created, it was good. It was good. So now we fall back into that. We have to get back into that, right? The light and understanding and, and, and not only just, you know, how life's supposed to be or, you know, our, our, our walk with Christ, you know, the, the, any reference that you like to read, any, any reference that's, you know, easy for you to understand, you know, it touches the simplest of minds because I tell you this, I, you know, even though I am complex, even though I am a deep thinker, even though I am very analytic, I'm still simple. There's simplicity about me. And sometimes there's even predictability about me, you know, yet even through all this, the, the most simplest things because, you know, even the smallest things, even the smallest things is easy to understand. Even some, you know, when, when, when there's, um, when there's a lot of confusion or could be confusion when you, uh, are not so quick to, to pick up on things when you're not, um, when your, your thoughts are running faster than, 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 your mouth, right, or vice versa, your mouth is running faster than your thoughts, right? Uh, we could spew out, spew out anything. We could think all types of things. Um, when, when you know, when some things you just don't understand, and it can be some sometimes simple, but to the simplest of minds, the word of God is revealed. Hallelujah! It is revealed. The light is shown through the darkness. And, and, and the darkness is just complete ignorance, just living in ignorance, right? So we immerse ourselves in the teachings, the scriptures of God and the source of his divine wisdom. Because I tell you this, family, I need God's wisdom. I need Jesus daily. I need him daily. I was listening to a song yesterday. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It, the title of it is Every Hour. And the the artist name is David Leonard. Yes, David Leonard. If you have not heard that heard that song, check it out. Every hour, every day, I need you, Lord, and that will never change. Hallelujah. This 
the body of Christ needs to be speaking this, right? Decreeing this every hour of every day. I need you, Lord, and that will never change. Hallelujah. I need him every day, every day. And so, and when we, when we uh, uh, take the word, when we uh, uh, take the word as is and believe the word, right? Our belief, our faith, our trust in the Lord, all these things it illuminates. Uh, even the, the God puts, you know, we, when we read scripture, we see Jesus in it, right? And some things we, uh, you know, some scriptures that, you know, some books, epistles, some, some that we've read, you know, we read it and then we come back to it and it's like, wow, I didn't notice that, right? You know, and, 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 and God reveals himself. Jesus reveals himself in in, 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 in in the scripture, in his word, because he is the word. And some things just jump out at you. It You know, it illuminates, right? Which is amazing when you have these revelations, right? Very amazing. Even in the most uh, uh, puzzling situations. And so we learn to grow. And when we learn to grow uh, through studying the Bible, through prayer, right? And, and, and even... If need be, you know, listening to to other uh, preachers, pastors, teachers, uh, prophets, uh, evangelists, um, when we admire, you know, the, the 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 people that are called by God, we're not like them. We can't be like them, right? And we we don't uh, uh, covet anything that that they do or what they have. Just the 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 tone that the, the Holy Spirit working in and through them, you know, and hearing the word, right, with power and authority. It's, uh, you know, we admire that. We admire that these are brothers and sisters in Christ. These are our brothers and sisters in Christ. Mothers, you know, all these because they do the will of God, right? And so it, we can admire, admire, you know, these people that are called of God. However, we have to study ourselves. We have to study to prove ourselves. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We have to study to prove ourselves, right? And so we learn and we grow. And, you know, uh, our, our eyes are uh, anointed. Our ears are anointed. We, we see, you know, in the, the truth of who God is, the truth and principles that guides us through this marathon we call life. Amen. Glory be to God. So... Uh, but we we are his complete followers. We we are his disciples. We are his disciples, and because we are known as his disciples, only because we love other people. How we love other people, you know. Only Christ can do that. Only his fruit. <laughs> only his fruit can do that, and he lives in and through us, right. And so we have to better understand God's will for our lives and discern the right course for each and every one of us, right? The, any action, any circumstance, uh, the more we grow, uh, you know, in our faith and knowledge and understanding in his ways, right? God will reveal all these things to us, you know, and just have a better understanding of God's will for us, for us, for us. For us, so and I believe Paul says, Paul says, uh, the will for not only God speaks in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, for he knows the plans for your life, plans to prosper you. Plans that are, are to, to give you expected end, uh, thoughts for you that are good and not of evil, not to harm you, right? Uh, uh, hope in a future in, in the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord has spoken, right? And and Paul speaks. Paul speaks. Paul says, Romans chapter 8, verse 27 says, The Spirit intercedes for God's people in, in accordance with the will of God. 
right? With the will of God. And you know, we we um we we his will for us is is what he has for us and wants for us. But yet, you know, we have to want the same thing, aligning ourselves with the will of God. Aligning ourselves with the will of God, so which means what God says, I believe it, what God wants to do. For me, I desire that. His plans for my life, I need that, right? All these things, we have to align ourselves with the word of God. And it is very, it, it and of course, it brings fruit. It brings fruit, right? It bears his fruit. And so we're going to put some more word on it. We want the things uh, that that God that God wants for us, what God desires for us, and so let's uh, go to First Thessalonians chapter four. Feel free to seek the words yourselves, family. First chapter. Four. Verse 3. God's will is for you to be holy. So stay away from sin and or sexual sin. God's will. And that each of us control his own body and live in holiness and honor, not in lustful passion like the pagans who do not know God in his ways. Mm. Never harm or cheat a Christian brother in this matter by violating a significant other. For the Lord avenges all such sins and such sins as we have solemn, solemnly warned you before God has called each and every one of us to live holy lives not impure lives God gives his Holy Spirit to us mm. so the will of God is not to not to live in sin. The will of God is to remember what he says and to live it out, right? The will of God is to show ourselves approved. The will of God is for him to bless us, for us to have an inheritance, for us to 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 not lack anything, for us to have, uh, not to be uh, uh, under the curse of the law. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Not to be under the cur curse of the law, right? God's will for us. God's will for us. Glory be to God. We thank you, Father. So, family, as 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 we you know journey this marathon, we call we call life, right? We have to be very vigilant, and some of us, you know, are so susceptible to you know. The, the, the naysayers, the, uh, the, the negative uh, talk about you, the, the negative, uh, you know, groups, uh, the, the, the subgroups that, you know, that's happening, whether it be with your family or co-workers, you know, we cannot. Let me tell you something, family. You and I are very powerful. And the people see that and they wonder and, and where why, you know, their words don't carry carry weight with you. They wonder why I can't tear this person down. They wonder why this person is not affected uh, about, about what I'm doing, what I'm saying. They, they have all these questions, these mind-boggling questions. 
but they don't understand. They can't understand. I tell you this, even if you told them, like when I, I, I mentioned this in a, in a video before, that, you know, one of my coworkers asked me, how is it that you're so cool? You cool as a cute I was like, you don't have any problems, you know, and I'm just paraphrasing. And I told him that's because I, dep I am dependent on my father. He was puzzled. He didn't understand what I meant. He, he you know, it was like, a surprise to him and he walked he walked off you know confused puzzled you know and so we know what it is right we cannot allow things or people to tear us down i'm i'm just going i'm just going to be real quick real quick with this uh so for, for example Friday, yes, Friday we had a, a meeting, um, a meeting with, uh, you know, um, the agencies that we work with, primarily uh, our entity, and 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 other entities that are connected with us. It was uh, mindful, uh, not mindful. Um, it was motivational interviewing, and so everything, you know, you know long story short, the. Um, now we know what mindful intervention is. If you don't know, uh, Google it. Okay. Um, so in, be, before you know we ad adjourned, um, she, the the facilitator, uh, she asked if we wanted to watch her work, watch her, um, uh, watch her how she does to watch her how she does when she's in 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 an actual. Um, meeting with uh, a client, so um, it was like, yeah, sure, let's 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 see it. You know, let let this be real, right? Uh, let this be real. And again, I tell you this, family, I do this every day. I do this every day, and you know, I, I don't like mock interviews. I don't like um, it. It feels so. Un it doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel real, right? It's not genuine at all. And so, you know, I'm, I was very excited, right? And it, of course, it was a refresher course for me because I remember taking that in um, when I was in college. Uh, that was one of my uh, one of my classes. But anyway, um, so we actually one we one of our volunteers he decided to was very brave of him, very brave, you know. Um, he decided to. Uh, speak with her right and you know he it it it, it just went completely it wasn't I, I, he didn't understand but he he just thought he was just talking but more of he was uh speaking and and nothing against him at all nothing against him at all you know um he did what he had what he done his part let's just say that he done his part and mainly what he was doing uh, was just venting about his feelings, uh, his, his his emotional state, or how our entity helped him, um, how his mental health, how he's you know uh, how how his mental health is being affected. He was just venting, and he talking talking in circles, but he was venting, you know, <laughs> and she. She just literally, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. So you feel like your mental health uh, being here, that it's helping you, it's changing. You know, she was, it, it wasn't, it wasn't motivational interviewing at all. It, it I, I tell you this family, I kid you not, it was not motivational interviewing at all, at all. She was just acknowledging how you felt. That's not motivational interviewing. And paraphrasing what he was saying, almost not motivational interview. So I'm sitting there. I'm like, what the what what is going like what is going on? So, and afterwards, she said, anyone has any questions, comments, thoughts, and me, you know, well, one of my coworkers, she was like, she has something to say, it just being extra, right, being extra, and just wanted, and I think on, on just wanted to know if I was going to speak on it, uh, which I did. And um, I asked her, I said, so I, I don't understand. How is this helping him? 
the fantastic question that we, we should be asking. What does change look like to you? How do you see change for you? What process, what steps, what, what is it in the now that we want to focus on? Whether it be your mental health or your emotions or your feelings. Your, your, I'm trying to look for the word. Your mock or, or your interviewing, I should say, your interviewing, it, 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 it didn't make sense to me. Like, how, how is this uh, leading this individual to addressing, uh, you know, his, 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 his circumstances? You know, it, 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 I kid you not, family, you know, and literally, literally, she ignored me, right? And she turned her head in of this other group that was that was sitting where they were sitting at. She was standing next to them and she turned her head and, you know, <laughs> was talking to them. And she she ex tried to explain that well, it's I was just of I wouldn't say affirming. Pretty much, as I said before, uh, she was just uh, paraphrasing and, and, and just uh, acknowledging his venting. You know, he was just venting and going in circles. It was just venting. You know, and like I'm, like I'm supposed to accept that. Yes, you are the professional. Yes, this is what you do. I, I'm not accepting that. No, ma'am. I, I, I'm not accepting that. If you're going to show me something, show me something. Teach me. Right? This is a refresher course for me. Right. And it's so important to learn on your own. It's so important to learn things on your own because people will tell you anything or make it look like this is how it looks like or this is how it's supposed to look like. Right. No. And, you know, you could tell the, the temperature of the room just shifted like it changed. Right. Like it changed. But did I care? No. You know, it's when I when you prompt to ask a question or prompt to do something in the name of Jesus. And, you know, when God uses you, we, we, we have to come out of our shells. We, we have to, we have to show who we are, show ourselves, you know, we have to show ourselves who we are. And a lot of people not going to understand. A lot of people won't like it, but it is what it is because I am that I am because the great I am speaks over me. Amen. So it, it, it shifted and I'm like. And and one of one of the one of the coworkers, she, one of the workers works at the office, and she mentioned in an undertone, you know, trying to be. I don't know what you want to call it, but she she says she said with her head down, she says, "Well, it's just is let it be what it is, something like that along those lines." And I looked at her, and I looked around the room, and I said, "Okay, if you think so, I disagree." Like, you know, and, 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 in in the midst of that, you know, after everything was done and over with, you know, I, I, I kind of questioned myself, like, should I have said that, you know, um, but immediately I had to rebuke that. I'm like, no, I had to say something. I had to speak. I had to ask the question. Right. And so I go to my, my supervisor. I said, Wendy, do you think I said something wrong? Or was it me? She was like. She, she exactly told me. She was like, no, she just wasn't ready for the question. And as your supervisor, I approve. So I'm like, hallelujah, thank you. I was like, thank you so much. Like, thank you. I, I <laughs> You guys, it wasn't me. So I'm like, okay, you know, I, I knew, I know in my spirit that it wasn't me, you know, and it wasn't me and it just didn't make sense. You know, it, it didn't make sense at all. And so, and, and therefore, in life, right, when things doesn't make sense at all, we have to make it make sense, right, in in in, in God's way, right? Even even if we have to show up, even, you know, the questions we ask, even how we perform, thank you, Holy Spirit, how we perform in life, it's the complete opposite, right? A worldly wisdom is, is the complete opposite of what, what of, of, of 
what people think it should look like. It's the complete opposite of, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the current of the world and the direction of where the world is going. And now you may think, oh, that, that wasn't, that's nothing. That, that, that was just a question. Yes, it was the question yet because we see it is not our own understanding thank you Holy Spirit it is not our own understanding that we lean into it is the understanding the spiritual understanding thank you Holy Spirit the spiritual understanding and so when we hear and listen and see what people do It's not cracked up. It's not what it should be. It's not what it is. It's, I don't want to. Because we are the renewing of our minds and the, the changing, the, the processes that we go through, right? The, 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 the shift, the, the transformation, the reformation that we go through. We see different. We understand different. And so what was performed in front of me, it was not accurate. What you Thank you, Holy Spirit. What you say, what you were facilitating, what you showed me was not it. That wasn't it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Somebody catch this revelation. Catch the revelation. What you do. How you walk, the things you say, if you're not performing that, if you're not walking it out, if you're not living it out, it is deception. You have to walk the walk and talk the talk or talk the talk and walk the walk. Amen. Glory to God. And so I saw through that what you teaching or trying to teach, what you facilitating what you perform was the complete opposite. It was not so. It was not so. And I had to say something. And, and no, it, it didn't make other people feel good about it. No, you know, there was, you know, people felt some type of way. No, no one expected that, you know. No, I'm not accepting <laughs> what you what you say it is. I'm not accepting that. Right, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm just not accepting that. I'm not accepting that. Right from any other person as well. And so, all these things we have to be mindful of. Right, we have to be mindful. We have to be mindful and know the will of God for our lives. And again, all things are spiritual. All things are spiritual. All things are spiritual. Right. And so, family. Take a moment to visit. Take a moment to visit because we are always in the presence of the Lord. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And, you know, uh, we mute the mic of the enemy. And again, some of us could, you know, be our own worst enemies. You know? Ye are saved. Ye are redeemed. God chose you. We move different. We act different. Right? We respond different. My response, my response made people feel some type of way. But then again, you know, hey, we're supposed to stand out. Amen? I felt proud of myself. Because, you know, back then, you know, in these mid-teens and, you know, I didn't say anything. I just, just said, listen and have all these thoughts in my mind, but not speak on them. But hallelujah, glory be to God. I'm bold. We are bold. I'm courageous. We are courageous. Amen. We are smart. We are who God says we are. Amen. His wisdom he give unto us. His peace he gives unto us. 
right? We lean onto his understanding, not our own. Amen. So, family, positive seeds, conceive positive seeds, conceive positive seeds, negative seeds do not. Even though the enemy would try to plant those negative seeds, those negative thoughts, we cast that down in the mighty name of Jesus. Positive seeds, we bear fruit, bear fruit in the Lord. What is the fruit of the Spirit? Let's go to Galatians. Galatians chapter 5, and a lot of you should be familiar with Galatians, right? Galatians. Galatians, chap, uh, Galatians chapter 5, verse 22. And we're going to read from the, uh, let's, let's read from the Amplified version. Let's read from the Amplified. But the fruit of Verse 22, but the fruit of the spirit, we are conceiving positive seeds, 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 seeds are what? The word of God, which we are the sower. God gives word to his people. God gives seeds to his people. And we sow these seeds in the spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We sow these seeds in the spirit. Positive seeds, not negative seeds. But the fruit, verse 22, but the fruit of the Spirit, the result of His presence within us. In the Spirit, thank you, Holy Spirit, in the Spirit. We sow these seeds in the Spirit. Is love. What is love? Unselfish concern for others. Joy. Peace. Patience. What is patience? Not the ability to wait, but how we act while waiting. Patience is how we act while waiting. Kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. The contrary of such things is law. All those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the sinful nature together with its passions and appetites. If we claim to live by the Holy Spirit, we must also walk by the Spirit with personal integrity. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I have to have personal integrity. Godly character and moral courage. Amen. Our conduct empowered by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And that's what was happening. And that's what should happen in our lives daily. We must not become conceited, challenging of provoking one another, envy one another. Hallelujah. And so, family, we conceive the positive seeds and it, we, we sow it in the spirit and sow in the spirit. What's in us, it transform us on the out, outwardly, right? Uh, we, it's seen, right? The anointing is there. The blessings are there. The language speaks for itself. Glory be to God. The Holy Spirit uses us, right? It's there in spirit. Again, our, our spirit is housed in this flesh that the Lord gave to us, this shell of ours. We are spirit first. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. So family, take a moment to visit. Take a moment to visit. We are always in the presence of the Lord. Glory be to God. And so those good seeds, those positive seeds, the word of God. In your lives, when it's conceived, will we ingest it? We believe it. We ingest it when we receive it. We believe it. It's conceived in our womb. It's conceived in our womb. We speak it. We declare it. We decree it. We receive it. We speak it. Declare it. Right? All these good things. It comes forth. We bring forth. Hallelujah. Just like God said, let, let light be. 
there it was. There it is. And so same with us. There it is. Amen. And again, a lot of people are going to wonder. A lot of people are going to question. Glory be to God. You know what it is. And they can have the same thing. It's all love. Whosoever, it's all love. It's all love. And you know, I want you guys to think on this too because I had to tell myself this as well. Walking in your authority, walking in your power, walking in your dominion is not arrogance. It is not arrogance. It is confidence in the word of God. Confidence in who I am in Christ. Confidence of how I move. Confidence of how I respond. Confidence in what I do. Hallelujah. Confidence, not arrogance. And again, a lot of people are not going to understand it. That's fine. But you know and God knows. And you don't have to say anything. God is my vengeance. God, he is. I don't have to say anything. I don't have to say anything. I don't have to prove anything to any person. God approves me. God approves me. He speaks on my behalf. Amen. So family, be encouraged. Be encouraged. Let this word minister unto you. Let this word meet you where you are. Let this word bless you, family. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And for those who are not saved, John 3, 16, confess. Confess with your mouth. Believe in your heart. God is calling you. Be of good cheer. Hallelujah. And we've overcome we overcome the flesh, the devil, and this world by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus' cross. Jesus' Jesus's cross. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The cross, Jesus Christ, the blood of the Lamb. Because of the cross, glory be to God. And by the word of our testimony, hallelujah. Can no devil in hell shake you? Can no devil in hell prevail against your gates? Hallelujah. Can no devil in hell bring pestilence or disease nigh your dwelling? Can no devil in hell prosper any tactics of the enemy? It cannot prosper any weapons against you. It cannot prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. God sees. God knows. Who report will you believe? Who do you trust? Whose hand are you holding? Who do you walk with in the mighty name of Jesus? God is good and he's for you. If he be for you, who be against you in the mighty name of Jesus? And I speak that in the mighty name of Jesus. Who could be, who, who could be against me when I know that my father is for me? And that goes for any person any stranger, any co-worker, any person, glory be to God, because I don't have to say anything. I don't have to prove myself. Right? The Father is my defender. Jesus Christ is my defender. I don't have to defend myself. Hallelujah, because I have peace. I have joy in the Lord. Amen? I am not shook by thoughts, Shook by naysayers, shook by anything that the enemy likes to spout. Right? In the mighty name of Jesus, everything is well. All is well. Glory be to God. So, family, be blessed. Know that you are blessed. Amen. If you only felt led to sow, click the link. If you felt led, to send this message, this video message to a loved one, feel free to share, feel free to subscribe in the mighty name of Jesus. We are in this together. Hallelujah. And thank you subscribers. Much gratitude for allowing this conduit, for allowing Feed My People to minister unto you. This is a ministry. Faith in God. Our cross, taking up our crosses. Amen. Showing ourselves to be approved. We walk the walk. We talk the talk. I can't do one without the other. 
Amen. I love you all with the love of Christ. You guys, happy Sunday. Enjoy the rest of your day. Be safe. Eat a pleasant, great meal. Eat a good meal with the family, friends. Thanks, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. This is Fellowship Social Mixer. And I will have the description. I will have the title in the in the description. I love you all the love of Christ. I will talk to you later, family. If it is God's will in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I love you all, family. Take care. Peace.